Okay, you're in the home stretch. Last video, I promise. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I want you to do a quick um, add a logo. And what I would do, upload, or you can select. And I would do maybe, um, you can do an image search or recent. I'm trying to think. Let's see if I can find one of my, um, oh, I wonder if it'll let me do that. Just trying to find photos. Let me see if I can find a photo. I can do a clip art or I can do a, um, a bitmoji. So let's try this one. Or, I mean, this one doesn't really apply. I could have gotten one that had space, but I'll just use one of those. Okay, so that will change it, and it'll put it up in the corner. I kind of like having some that have a clear background, um, so you don't really see that. I could have done something with space. Hmm, maybe I can do one. Let me come here. Let's look for space. I think I can find an astronaut. Ah, uh, this guy is funny. In a rocket, maybe, because it has a clear background. So let's do that. I'm going to double click, or right click, save image as. And it should save to my device. Let's go to my downloads and make it quick. Image after image, guys. I think I'm bogging my computer down. Save. I don't know if I have access to that file. Yes. Save. Okay, so now I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to change it. I'm just going to click delete and then I'll upload or select. And so I'm going to go to recent. And there he is open super cute um, now the favicon that is something that like at the top of the browser or the top of the yeah the tab you can change the icon here but you really won't see it until you're in preview mode so i can put the same one if i want recent I need to clean out my Chromebook. I've got so many images, but I'm kind of afraid if I delete some, then it'll take it off these trainings that are these sites that I've been making. Okay. Another thing I want you to pick, so I have my images on the top and the bottom. Another thing is navigation. Um, you can have your um, pages show at the top or on the side where you'll see like a little lines, um, three lines off to the side, and you can either have it black, white, or black. Um, I think it stands out more with the black. Or you can do transparent, where it just blends in with the background. It's your choice. So let me do black. And we don't have any other pages yet, so you're not seeing anything pop up, and the sidebar is not popping up. So at the top, you just have all the different pages at the top, or you can choose the side, okay? Let's do the top. I want the top because you'll always see them there. If you do the side, it'll have three little lines, like, a, like a, a menu that they have to pick from. Okay, so we did the brand images, viewer tools. Let me get out of here. Okay, let me show you the preview, what it looks like with the favicon at the top. Where are you? Is it thinking? Maybe it does it after I, um, it'll probably do it once I, um, I publish it. So don't worry. Just if you want to do the favicon, you can. I think it's a nice touch. It'll show up later after you publish. Okay, let me get out of here. Now the next thing I want to do, we're going to go to pages. So we were insert this whole time. Anything that you want to add components to the page, you go to insert. Now if you want to create a page, you go to pages. 
and you're going to click on right now we're in the home page um, usually you can leave your home page more basic just introducing whatever it is you're going to have on there and then here's a new page our new link so this is the page i'm going to title this one being in space let's do mercury and this page will mercury this page will be all about mercury now, aside from that, I can create a sub page. So if you click on this hot dog, remember the, the menus of three dots in a row, they call it a hot dog. I can duplicate the page. Let me move myself down here. Or I can add a sub page. Now here I could put um, attributes. So maybe this will be all of Mercury's attributes. I mean, you but like in my my um, lesson, I mean, on my uh, site, uh, can't even think on my art one i had um the grade levels and then a sub page of the lessons so it's up to you how you want to do this okay so now i'm going to go and i'm going to create another page so click a page let's do venus my very eager mother okay venus i can add a sub page now as you can see on that um that bar that we had indicated before, whether you wanted a transparent, white, or black, now they're st the pages are starting to show up. So now I'm going to do a sub page. I'm going to scroll down. Sub page. Okay. Done. And basically, you repeat the process of step one through three on each of these pages. That's basically what you do over and over again on each new page you create. You just you continue those steps. It doesn't have to be in the order that I um, taught them to you. I was just trying to get you familiarized with the different functions on sites. Um, I wish you the best of luck this year. I hope everything goes well. And um, by all means, if you ever want to reach out to me for any tips or help or, you know, maybe I wasn't clear about something. I know my computer was acting up. I'm hoping that the audio and the video align. I kind of have a feeling there might be some issues. But please, by all means, um, please don't have, hesitate to contact me. My email is nwhite at wisd.com. Dot us. Oof, dot com. Who do I think I am? Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Oh, you have to publish. Hold on. I almost tried to get rid of you. Let me, before you, you want to do anything, before it's visible to anybody, you have to publish. Okay, so here's a preview. So I'm viewing, let's see what it looks like. I would double check first. But I mean, even if you do publish before, like I've made changes and then I've published and then I've made more changes and I've published, no one's really going to see it until you provide them that link. It's not like someone's going to be looking for you and looking for the site. So what I do is I publish. Um, if this is what you want to call it, or you can change it to something else. Um, you also want to manage who can view your site. So it has me and my, I have my two different um, emails because I keep forgetting and opening my thing in the wrong one. So here the draft is restricted. Nobody can see the draft, but um, once it's published, it's to the public. And then you can change it. You can put it back to restricted if you want to. And then done, and you're good to go. So, and then it's demo space, and I'm going to publish. And if I want to send this link to someone, then I just click here to copy publish link, copy link, and you can post this in Google Classroom. Um, you could put it on um, Class Dojo, Seesaw, any um, communication platform that you use, or even um, on a link on a choice board. So now I'm saying bye. I wish